Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Iron Man episode. This would normally be a hardcore Iron Man, you need to go get some essence. But, this would oh, normally be a back. hardcore, but I have died on this account. Oh, it's Iron Woman Donnie. For via assisting my cousin with his game, which I've actually tried the game, and I found it very addicting. Thanks to my cousin Tyler. I played it on the PS3, but... Anyways, on to what we're going to be doing. Well, what I've done so far on this account. Really, they need to update this damn D&D. I mean, yeah, I get it. It's kind of cool to get an extra ore, but in my opinion, I'd rather honestly just have it bank instantly like the logs. I was showing Chels how to do... I actually have a set now? Chance to deal critical damage to the target. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is actually cool. I like that. I need to get the rest of the War Priest. That'll probably be what I'll work on since I'm AFKing my main for right now. But, a little progress of what Chelsea and I have done is we have unlocked the Fairy Rings. Is it Renaissance or Pure Pure Sons you need. By the way, bank those. The little, um, uh, Sliskillian pieces. Because you can take out more and you'll get a, some when you actually do it. Eh, got some more runes now. I am going to fill up my Wicked Hood though. That's actually my goal for today. So let's activate. And apparently I need lots of talismans. So what better way to do this than go into the Abyss. Oh, and since I was working on my main, I have AFK'd and collect 12,000 sharks. And three big sharks. <clears throat> I would have more prone balls, but I opened up 300, and then when I was planning to collect some for a million to do in a video, someone decided to open them all. Well, that's okay. I'm still working towards the goal of going to Profadness, even though since I have died on this account it's less of an achievement to me personally but I'm still enjoying this and if you stick around to the end of this episode well oh crap I forgot I needed that stupid staff we really gotta do fairytale part 3 but if you stick around to the end of this video you might be in for a surprise of what I might have in store and hopefully it'll be something you all will enjoy. Oh yeah, this is where you train. It's a nice slow combat XP, but... You won't take much damage here. Oh, and you guys like my overrides? Do I need a fire talisman? I actually don't know if I need a fire talisman. I don't need a fire talisman. <laughs> I actually don't know what all I need. But definitely I'm going to be working on getting some bones so I can... Ooh, Abyssal Charms. I want to, uh, let's see, what was it? Get 75 prayer soon, but I don't know which monsters to kill or where the best place to train is. I would assume an Ectofornus would be the best way for an Iron Man, as it gives the most XP compared to a Gilded Altar. Why am I turning all stats? I don't know what I'm going to try next. Yeah. The point of noted essence on me. I forgot I have that set up. Okay. There we go. Definitely best to be here with a charming implant, I'll tell you that much. But actually, I'm right next to my main. My main's over this way. Killing those ones. Ooh, there we go. That's one I needed. An elemental. What does this even show you? Pulls towards the southeast. Can it... I don't know, does an elemental actually take you to all four elements, or just one? Hmm. 
butt feed. And that's one down. And there's another. But I'll probably do this on my own time. This is just something I thought would be kind of, is kind of cool that we have unlocked. Is a simple ability to finally train here. Chelsea finally got her nature talisman on her hardcore Iron Man. Well, she won't probably die because she plays it as safe as can be. Hey. Chelsea, I haven't seen you kill anything. You train more skills than you do combat. Hey, I killed those. Yeah, and you were scared to just killing them. Because they fucking hit hard. What do you expect? You have more armor on than me. I've lost some of my armor pieces. I really need to go reclaim. But I think I'll probably just go for the War Priest. Oh, my Excalibur is now level 2. But, other than training here, getting my attack, strength, defense, whatever I feel like getting up, and getting talismans on the way, I will probably just work getting to Profanus a little quicker because there's no other use for the stuff I have. Oh, like, this is just ruinous? No. Mining. Chelsea, I'll say Rune Ascent, but if you have 30 plus mine, you get Pure Ascent. I don't know how that works, but it works. I'm going to actually try and do some uh, com combination runes. I haven't done that. Definitely, I'm going to try and get the Charming Ampling from Dungeoneering. Because this place is heck without it. Oh, and let me know what you guys think of the video from yesterday. The one where Chelsea and I did the... Aliens. Aliens aboard the Infesta. There actually is a number two to that. We're going to play it, but we're going to upload both the first and second episode. So yeah, spoilers, there's only two episodes. It actually is a really cool map. I'd recommend, I'm going to post in the second one, sorry about not doing it in the first one, but I'll post a link where you can download the map and play it. It was really fun to play, it's, it was scary at first, with that loud noise, but I got immune to it. So yeah, I'm going to collect a few more talismans, and then I'll be on my way. And 72 attack. Didn't even notice that was happening while I was training invention on my main. Well, destroying stuff I collected. That's always what I do when I'm here. It's actually a worthwhile thing. But, oh, there it is, Chels. I knew I was missing one. The giant pouch. Okay. That has an insane amount of Abyssal Charms. I think I might just fill up my inventory with Abyssal Charms. Screw the idea of getting a Talismans. Are you gonna go and dungeoneer for that charming thing? I think I might. <laughs> It'd be worthwhile. Definitely I'll be training Slayer. But, I'll fill up my inventory and I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, damn me. It looks like I just got myself a clue scroll. You know what? Forget filling up the inventory. Let's go do this. Oh, wait. I gotta equip that. Boop, boop. Oh, let's see. Is this... What's this one? Read. I'll probably have to go look up who that anagram's for. Okay, got a trivia question. How many bottles are in the stand next to Mr. X? Well, judging by how many I can see, there are seven. Wait, no, not seven, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's right, seven. Damn it. What's with the black wine he has? Huh. Seven? Correct. Alright. 
Oh, what? You can get these as mediums now? Oh, okay then. Zero nine, thirty three, two, and fifteen. Just in case this is the last of the clue, which it probably could be. Oh, no, nope, found that clue. I C F E. And apparently this one's a difficult one, so let's do this one together. Barrelands north of someone. Oh, it's in a cave over here. At least that's what it says. Let's see, it states that it's. I gotta find rants. R. Rants, rants, rants. Pillage. Let's see. Southeast of Green Isle, on the east coast of Felled Up Hills. Oh, I know where Rance is. Okay, I'll go to Rance and we'll go try and see if we can find him from there. Okay, here's Rance for any of you who are curious. He's the one that you start the big chompy bird hunt. There's an ogre chieftain. Wait, could it be one of his kids? Bugs? Yeah, okay. So those of you who are trying to complete this, it's one of his kids. And there's the clue scroll reward, 300 earth, 300 fire, admin play legs, and Zamorak arrows. Not exactly the best, I'll elk the play legs and bank the rest, it's not that good. But, I'll show you guys the, well, the surprise I had. Hope you all will enjoy. Here's the thing I was talking about, everyone. I have created an old school Iron Man. I have already done some progress on this. I have collected insult goblin heads. I have no clue what the hell those are. I haven't played on old school in a long time. But since I've been working more on my main or AFKing it, and I've kind of lost some interest in my normal Iron Man, I've been doing stuff on this one. If you would like to see a series where I kind of flop between old school and RS3 where I work on both of these, I can. Just let me know down in the comments below what you think. Currently on this one I have no goals, but maybe you guys can give me a few. Uh, well actually I think right now I'm trying to get Mithril Armor. Is that better than Iron Man? I think it is. I would assume it's better. But, I'll go show you my bank. Let me go sell the stupid stuff. But I'll just run over here. I know that there's a Graceful, which is something close to the agility armor of RS3. I will be trying to achieve that. Just because I guess it's weight reduction. And that the capes have perks. I read that up. But I have no clue what they do. 14 GP each. Let's sell five. How much do you buy? Eight GP each. How much are these? Ten. Sell one. Nine. Yeah, I'll sell them all. What the heck's a frog token? I'll keep those and I'll sell them in a bit. I've been working on melee as you guys can see. Here's my stats. I have 20 attack, 14 strength. 15 defense. I'm doing pretty good. I haven't worked on this account much. I have 13 prayer from just burying the bones. Take the free mind rune up on the way. But yeah, this is the account. This is the surprise. Oh, I do have a clue scroll easy to work on. I have seven of these unsold goblin heads. If any of you guys can tell me what the heck they do. Or how to do anything with them. Please let me know. It would be very helpful. But. I think till then. I'm going to. I will work on this account. I will be doing a few things on here. For instance. One of the things I'm going to do. Is I'm going to go to Varrock currently. I have no clue if anything's going to attack me on the way. So I'm going to grab up my shrimp. And head to Varrock. I guess I'll see you guys there. Alright, everyone. Made it to Varrock. And someone disappeared before my eyes. What is that staff you has? Salty legs. Salty legs. What's that staff? 
I lagged. What's your staff? Watch my video. Tell me your staff. Zaf, I'm trading you. I want... How much is this? Okay. I want that staff. Yeah, I'm awesome now. Actually, I'm gonna go buy some magic. I think she sells magic robes, doesn't she? Cory. What? Who closed this door on me? She sells a blue skirt. Oh, do I need the pink skirt for a quest? I think I do. I'm gonna buy it, just in case. And I want that red cape. Yep, I'm ready. I'm a priest on a mission. I'm going to die. But actually, I'm gonna go buy some mind runes and train up my magic. That's what I'll work off camera. And I'll try and get some money while I do so. Well, I can actually just work on with my melee to get some money. But where on earth are you? You know, I swear in RS3 they moved every house together. Because these did not seem this far away. But holy cow, that was like a mile right there. Trade. Um, how much are mine grins? 3 GP. How much is a pack? How much contains in a pack? Wait. That would mean that they're 11 GP each. Essentially. I don't know if I want to pay that price. That is a lot. I think I'm going to be the cheap one. Yeah. Die, Dark Wizard! Die! This is probably a horrible choice, but I'm level 2 magic! Yay! Die by whatever wind spell this is. Wind strike. No, don't kill me. You can't kill me. I am all powerful and have shrimp. You have nothing. And I have the ability to run away from you. I think it'd be best if I killed chickens. Or ducks. By the way, if any of you guys can help me, where the heck do, can I get law runes? Besides so rune crafting. Nope, eat the shrimps. Eat the shrimps. Did they have that one spot in the wizard's tower? What one spot? Uh. Run! Run very slowly. And by run slowly, I'm gonna walk. Cast a spell. Run! Cast a spell. Run! <laughs> this is how you train and kill someone. Da 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 Oh gosh, I don't know who I was attacking. There's too many. He's called for reinforcements. The battle is lost. Well, if any of you guys can help me, that'd be nice, and I'm going to go find something to kill. Sheep. Die, ram! I will kill this ram. Or apparently just level to level 3 magic. Yeah, I can go. Well, guys, we have to get going here. As my grandma is on the way, but I did kill the sheep. I am victorious. I am the best. Number one. <laughs> Shut up, that sheep needed to die. That wizard called for reinforcements. I couldn't find him. He was lost. Your sheep. It actually, it wasn't a sheep. It was a ram. Whatever. And the difference between the two is one has horns and likes <laughs> to ram things. The other one is fuzzy. I will kill this farmer. Wait, no. That imp. Die, imp. Before we go, the imp shall pass. Into the other life. Come on, Imp. Don't be resistant. Be the opposite of resistant, please. I'm gonna get my next spell. Ooh, one more level. 
Do the opposite of the Lord of the Rings and pass on. I'm gonna kill imps with magic, I think, just so I can try and get myself beads. What the heck's an insold? I just got the insold head of one. Oh, well, that's weird. I'm gonna go kill imps with magic. Go kill imps with magic. Once I get back. Little cow. By the way, tell us there's a Congo line over here. There is? Look at this. If I run up here, there... Oh, there was. There was a guy casting Confused, and there was just a Congo line of goblins <laughs> going back. And I'm back in Lumbridge. I gotta figure out how to heck to get law runes, and if you guys can help me, that'd be nice. And I'll do some research as to what drops them. But, until then, this goblin... It's going to be sending us off by dying. Mew! He outsmarted me! He went around the fence! Can't you be like a guard and be stupid and stay on the other side? Oh, wait. I got an idea. You come over here. Yeah, just like that. Yep, be nice and stupid. Be like your average goblin kind. Die. Die quicker. Come on, we're timed here. Well, see you all with that level up later on. Bye, everybody.